The handshake is not about 2022, so it is said. That's what we are told, and it's for the attention of somebody. I want to identify that person as William Samoe Ruto and help him to break down this. William Samoe Ruto. A little English here is important. When somebody says something is not, then they must say what that thing is. If the handshake is not about 2022, you then should ask yourself, what is it about? Then you will have to answer yourself, because the answer will come automatically. Then that if it is not about 2022, it's about something. And if you are not being told what that something is, then you must begin to ask yourself serious and hard questions. Number one. Number two, Raila and Uhuru talk about people who do not support peace, people who thrive in commotion. You have to understand the meaning of the word commotion. William Samoy Ruto. Commotion in my understanding means a person who is disturbing the status quo. Either existing, planned, or just around the corner. So it's important for you, William Samoy Ruto, to ask yourself, what is this status quo that you are disturbing? If it was about you, then you can only be asked to be disturbing it. But why am I saying it is you, William Samoy Ruto? Because when the president and Raila talk about some people thriving in a commotion, it can't be Murukomen, it cannot be Duale. Let's develop it a little further. When they say that people should support this initiative, which we support also, that people should support it, and then they go further to say that instead of, instead of plotting behind their back, come forward and seek for clarification. The president and Raila can only have somebody like you in mind. The president and Raila cannot be worried about Duale, about Muroko men as coming for explanation. On the side of Raila, they cannot be worried about Mdavadi. They cannot be concerned about Tangula, for that matter, or Kalonzo. So the focus, if you listen carefully, to the speeches made at Matiba's funeral service in Muranga, the focus was you, William Samoy Ruto. Your lieutenant, notably the senator from Nandi, said you supported the president in 2013. True. You supported the president in 2017. Again, very true. But I'll refer you, the senator, to Julius Caesar, a play by Shakespeare in which after Mark Antony and uh, his two colleagues have defeated the conspirators, they then formed the second triumvirate. But in the process of trying to manage this, Mark Antony and uh, Augustus Caesar think of discarding Lepitas. And as they are plotting to do that, one of them asks the other, what do we do with this guy? And the other tells him, look, Gentlemen, we are like hunters, gold hunters. We've gone to look for gold, the two of us. We've gotten gold. We've used an ass or a donkey to carry that gold. We have now come to, the ho to home. We have come home. We are in the house. What did we do when we arrived? We get the gold from the donkey, and the donkey goes to grace. So be careful, William Ruto. But I'm not saying that people will finish you. All I'm saying is you ought to go into this thing with your eyes wide open, knowing your goose is likely cooked, knowing, as I suspect you might by now be knowing, that from the other side, the die is cast.